Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison, and today we've got the Lenovo A850 smartphone with us, and we're going to be showing you how to back up your apps, your settings, and basically your entire phone system. And the way we're going to do this is by using a custom recovery, and so we need to check the build number and the braceband version of your phone to see it's an ROW, that's a rest of the world version like what we've got here, because the recovery you use depends on the version of your phone. And the first step is going to have to be routing the phone. So the way we're going to do this is by using Framaroot. You can just simply Google that like we've done here. Or in fact, I'll put a direct link to it in the description below to make it even easier. So it's just a simple Android APK file. You just download it and install it, and that will route your phone, allowing you to flash across the custom recovery. So here we are on the first link on Google. For Framaroot, it's the XDA forums. Here's all the various different versions. And we're going to go just for the latest version, version 1.9.1. So just download it onto your phone and you're ready to start routing. So just tap the app. You might find this message here where you need to confirm that you can install apps which aren't from the Play Store. If there's an issue with that, just simply go to settings, all settings, and then click on the security button here. And that will allow you to um, toggle the option for allowing apps from unknown sources. So once that's sorted, you can go ahead and install Framaroot and run it and thereby root your phone. So I'm just going to go back again. So I can just tap the app to start running it. I need to install it just by clicking install, um, agree to the terms. And once it's installed, I just need to again confirm one more thing. And I can start rooting the phone. It's really simple. Just open the app and choose one of the methods. I'm going to choose the first one, Boromir. It works completely fine on the A850. And with as easy a motion as that, your phone is rooted. You just need to go ahead and reboot it to make sure that the super user is working. So I'm going to quickly power down and restart my phone. OK, so while this is rebooting, I just want to reiterate that you need to make sure that your phone is an ROW version before you use the recovery files that we're giving you as they only work on these devices. And it might help if you just copy over the recovery files onto your phone before you go ahead with this next step. So what I'm going to do first of all is just check that um, I am rooted after having run this root application. So just search for root checker on the Google Play Store. Let's just use the first app. This one works completely fine. And this is going to be a way of telling whether it's worked. If you're not sure whether your phone is rooted or not, you can try and do this first just to make sure you don't have to go through any unnecessary steps. And if you think it is rooted, obviously you can check that it is definitely rooted before you try and go further. So here we go. Congratulations. This device has root access. So we can actually begin installing the recovery file, which is going to allow us to back up the phone. So what we're going to use is a program called Mobile Uncle. So again, just search for that in the Play Store. It will come up straight away. And this is a general purpose sort of utility program that allows you to access all sorts of settings about your phone. So we're just going to go ahead and install it straight away from the Play Store. Again, I'll have the link for that in the description below to make it easier for you. And this gives us all sorts of options. And the one we're going to use is it can directly flash a new recovery onto your phone. So I'm going to find the files that I'd stored on the SD card earlier. They're currently on the external SD card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them across and I'm going to pick the, the bottom one, the CWM, which is Clockwork Mod. You can choose whichever one you prefer, but this one's a bit more familiar for most people and a bit easier to use, we think. So just copy it into the root directory of your internal SD card. And I'm just going to check it's there. So there's the file. That's great. And now when we actually open Mobile Uncle Tools, it will find it, hopefully. So we need to grant it super user access so it can do its magic. Wait for it to load and then click recovery update. And here you go. It's found the file straight away at the top. Just check it's the same file name as the one you copied across. Click OK and you're flashing the recovery right now. So it just takes a couple of seconds and then we can reboot into recovery mode straight away. The phone will restart. The Lenovo logo comes up and you'll find here we are. Clockwork mod recovery straight away. It's as simple as that. You just need a rooted phone, a recovery file and mobile uncle tools. So you can scroll up and down using the volume keys on the right hand side and click with the power button on the top of the phone. 
and we're going to use the menu here just to make an Android backup of the entire state of the phone at the moment. So go to backups and just choose backup. And what it's going to do is copy all the data onto your phone's SD card. So I'm just going to fast forward through this quite quickly because it takes about five to 10 minutes depending on how much you've actually got on your phone. But it's a really useful thing to have and it's absolutely essential to do this before you install any ROMs or start messing about because it means you can always go back and to restore to your previous state. It's a bit like system restore on Windows or something like that. So we finally finished, it's generated the MD5 hash which it uses to verify that all the files are intact before restoring it and we should be able to go ahead and see here's a new folder created from today which we can back up from in the future if we need to. So that's all there is to it. As quickly as that, you have both routed your Lenovo A850 and also backed up the phone's complete current status, which means you've got something to fall back upon when you start flashing custom ROMs and messing around with the phone. Thanks for watching.